New tonight, one Mid Michigan family has opened their hearts, adopting four children over the years. They thought their family was complete. That is until 18 days ago. Fox 66's Amanda Chanicki joins us in the studio to explain. Amanda. Dave, when the birth mother of one of John and Amber Heron's adopted children asked them to adopt her new baby girl to keep her kids together, John says they just couldn't say no. While the Herons have the biggest of hearts, they say their finances is a little bit smaller. Well, we really are in crunch time. John Heron is the pastor of Life Church in Saginaw. But recently, every donation counts. He can add telethon hosts, start lip syncing, or we'll do live doo wop, and maybe part time comedian to the list. Oh, and did I mention an adoptive father of four? Now, here we are 12 years later, and we have four adopted beautiful children three boys, one girl, and we thought that that was it. That is until we got a phone call that turned our world upside down. On the other line, he says, was adoption associates. And they said, you're not going to believe this, but the birth mother of one of your adopted children had a baby yesterday in Detroit, and she specifically asked if your family would adopt her baby girl. How do you say no? to that. So now with barely a three week notice, John's doing whatever he can to raise money to cover the adoption fees for a new yeah. baby girl. We're less than 6,000. John has little Alicia to thank for his new hosting skills. And one day, maybe she can thank him for all he's done for her. I'm a dad who will do anything for his kid and I have a baby out there um, that I got to bring home. Sorry. And um, I'll do a telethon live as long as it takes until midnight, and then we'll, we'll figure it out. He's such a great guy. Well, that family, they're trying to raise about $15,500 by midnight Wednesday, so tonight, in order to bring baby Alicia home on Friday. Right now, we're down to about two hours, less than that. And at last check, I looked before the show, and there was about $12,500. So they're a little bit short of their goal. But if you're interested in helping out this family, we're going to have a link on the GoFundMe page. That will be on our website, WSMH.com. In the studio, Amita Chadnicki, Fox 66 News.